What's going on guys, CWG here, welcome to episode 28 on the Vault Hunters SMP. Did you know there's 28 digits and one royal cubit? Interesting. Now I invite you guys, come into my house with me, take a look. I recently just completed a scavenger crate off camera. And if you take a little peek, there's something very special in this crate. Let's open it. Oh, there's so much stuff actually. And there it is, our very first artifact of the server. Now that I've been doing vaults without afterlife, we're finally going to start getting some artifacts. So let's go ahead and see what our first artifact is. Looks like we got the uh, sparkle teen one. Also, I like that it says two FPS in the corner. <laughs> oh, I love these artifacts. But yeah, it's a super good. We're going to have to collect all 25 unique artifacts in order to enter the final vault, which I want to put your guesses in the comments. Do you think it's going to be more or less than 124 episodes to get to the final vault like it did last season? And as some of you guys may notice, I have built a artifact board over here. Yeah, it uses those sun metal pillars and blocks, some heavy calcite bricks and some gold ore stairs. Now, I don't actually know the proper location for this one yet, so I'm just going to put it there. I know it's not the centerpiece. If you guys watched Evit's video, she recently just got the centerpiece as her first one, which is kind of cool. But as the episodes progress, we will be putting our artifact pieces on this board, so we will one day be able to run the final vault. And I guess we have this level 27 axe to roll. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show you guys. We've been getting some good armor recently. Well, not our helmet, but check out our pants. We're starting to get tier 3 armor rolls, and this one is a max tier 3 with 11 armor, plus 1 to 12 with some health. Really good. And now check out our boots. A total of 13 armor and five health and then of course we have our omega chest plate we got last episode in fact let me see what you guys came up with as a name for that and it looks like you guys came up with oh mana get it because it gives you a uh, mana and mana regen it's omega <laughs> pretty funny well let's roll this axe see if we get anything good will it beat our 18 attack damage one chaining with soul chance uh the damage is really bad on this one yep now you know i was thinking last episode we did get an evoker egg and i kind of forgot evokers and pillagers i'm pretty sure they both drop emeralds so if we put these guys in a cage will it just give us infinite emeralds because that would be incredibly good the question is do we have enough chromatic steel we got 60 ingots i think that might be enough i'm gonna go ahead and try to build another cage of course this is gonna cost two more black chromatic steel ingots Ugh. and we can make our ominous skull and i think we should have enough chromatic steel to make it sweet Let's go ahead and add it to our collection. Now, I believe the Evoker is going to drop totems and it's going to drop emeralds, which I don't think you can use totems in the vault anymore, but it'll still be useful for the overworld. Oh, there he is. There's a little Evoker in there. And you guys have also told me in the comments, you can stack up to four eggs inside each cage. So if we get more of these eggs in the future, we can make it go even faster. So I'm going to wait a bit for this guy to produce. I want to see what exactly it's going to give us. All right, I waited a little bit and it appears this guy drops totems every cycle and it occasionally drops an emerald. So maybe it won't be as strong of an emerald farm as I thought it would be, but at least it'll produce some over time. Okay, guys, you may be wondering what's going on right now. And so am I. I was AFK. I just came out of the shower yeah, and so uh, your guess is as good as mine was what's education. happening right now. They don't know I'm back yet. I'm just going to let them keep know. pranking me and see where this goes. All right, guys, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to, like, come back and, like, yell, ah, and see if I can scare him. Ready? Ah! Did I scare you? No, but my ear no. Holes no, you just hurt my ear. What is oh, happening? <laughs> Ow! You a bit. Who's farming <laughs> in my... F f what? Don't, don't, That's don't, what don't. we came to figure out. <laughs> Yeah, well, there was a, suddenly Ow. there was a farm on your your roof, and I don't I don't know what happened. And yeah, we were like, what is going on? And we were just you know inspecting <laughs> the situation. I we were see. wondering why you were building a carrot farm in your attic. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm glad I'm glad you guys are looking out for me. I just need I needed some carrots, you know. Mm. Ah. Tasty. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Ow! Is the soul sand like in my roof? It is. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I had to drop you down onto it. We were hoping to have a. A meeting, shall we say? Oh, the meeting, yes. Wait, why is Evan here? Oh, I, I'm just here to see what was going on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was invited to observe. <laughs> Understandable. I have no idea what the, the, the secret meeting is about. I'll, uh... Yeah, go to your own secret meeting. <laughs> Bye. No, I'm just kidding. Bye. Wait, where's the waystone? <laughs> oh, back in here. <laughs> <laughs> um, not awkward at all. Awkward. Bye. This is a great start to the meeting. Uh, what are we meeting about? 
Well, hello, gentlemen. Nice hello. of you to join uh, the meeting room for the meeting of the island. The <laughs> island. Is that so what we I'm are right kind of been playing into the whole um, dragon um, wizard thing that I've been christened recently. So, <laughs> You've yeah. been christened with? Fair. Been fair. christened the dragon wizard. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, thank you for joining. I have an invitation I sent you both. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm glad you were able to both receive and, and join. Um, welcome to the meeting room, which is just a campfire with meat. And C Dubs has provided the 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 big meat, which mm, is really nice. Salmon. And it's it's looking some tasty. Yeah, the salmon. Ooh, give me that piece. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to get straight to brass tacks. I have invited you guys across to this small island because it is set between our bases. C Dubs uh -huh. on the hill, Code yep. down in the valley, and myself yep. just across the water. Yep. I was thinking the three of us could team together to create a powerhouse on the river. Oh, That's what I'm okay. talking about. So we clear the island, or I'll clear the island, uh -huh. and then we could build a warehouse and hold our farms. Great and I know things. you guys have mechanism, so maybe there's some way we can combine yes, the we two. Can integrate it. Oh, like with yeah. mechanism yeah. pipes going in to create machines. Yeah, yeah that's harmony. what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. Perfect warehousing situation. Perfect. Yeah. Oh. Combine the yes. mech and the create to get create mech. mech create. We will call it create we mech island. We <laughs> will run mech this island. server. <laughs> <laughs> create mech island. <laughs> Do you, like me on, do you like me on your left side or the other side? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Musical I chairs. Oh, there we go. Uh, <laughs> doop, doop. All okay. right. Well, well, it sounds good. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll get started here. We'll clear this island here soon, and then we will start making farms and machines. Well, that was an interesting meeting. So it seems like me, Code, and Zinji are going to be teaming up to colonize this island. I mean, uh, turn the island into some sort of industrial zone. I'm thinking eventually once we get into like the mechanism reactors and stuff, we could build a reactor on this island. We can make our own three mile island. Exciting. Also, it looks like the guys have cleared all the trees on the island and Code put a mega torch in the middle. Nice. I just like how the campsite's still there. That's it. Also, here's a little status update. Before I show you guys what's going on in the community build so far, look at what Code's been doing. Bruh, this was not here yesterday. Look at it. Code's been working on his mega base, and wow, that's impressive. This thing is freaking huge. Are these all calcite blocks? Oh yeah, they're all layered calcite. That is a ton of calcite that Code's been using. Also, Fuzzy's been working on his castle. Oh, that looks so cool. Dude, the people on the server are crazy. Like, all this stuff has been built in the past couple days. Insanity. Now, let's take a look at our community build here and what people have been up to. Now, if you guys remember, we are still the champions for this month of January. We have 10 more days of rule. And let's pop into free cam here because some people have built their section. I know Rob did the archway up here. And I think the archway looks real good. I love the hanging lights from below. Fuzzy has built this section, which kind of reflects his uh, build theme for his castle. Love the red and black theme with the sun metal blocks. And now we got a new section built right here, and I can already tell this is Code. Code loves building with nether quartz. But look at the little light design he made. That looks so cool. It looks like futuristic. I know Code likes his modern futuristic building. I mean, just, just look, look at that. And using Freecam, we can look at the redstone in here. Oh, it uses observers facing repeaters. Okay, that's a, that's a smart way to do it. Nothing like a little bit of redstone spaghetti. Once everyone has built their sections, I'm gonna have to find some way to connect everything because right now nothing's really connected. You can't really go through the build at all. But we'll have that purpose eventually. Now stick around till the end of the episode because I want to do another server tour. We did a server tour, I think around like episode four or five. And we haven't done one since. And as you guys could tell, people have been making insane progress. So I want to I want to see what everyone's up to at the end of the episode. But for now, we're completely at a cabin. We need more cabin because I want more cages to farm more mobs. So that means we need to get into the vault. So let's make ourselves a vault rock. Throw it in. Oh yeah, check out our bounty here. Complete any vault, and we get a epic plus chest plate. Oh yeah. All right, we got gold, pumpkins, netherrack, zombie flesh. Not too hard. Let's spit all these items at him. There we go. Now, as you can tell, the vaulter is starting to get a bit expensive. It needs items in the hundreds now. Thankfully, with botany pots, we're, we're up to thousands when it comes to melons and stuff. So that's pretty good. So we got a level 29 crystal we can run. Also, let's check up on our evoker guy. 
Oh wow, we're up to 116 emeralds now, nice. You know, maybe I judged this thing too early. I mean, that's 116 emeralds we didn't have before. Any free emeralds is just nice. All right, let's hop in this vault and see if we can complete the quest. That would be really nice. In we go. Oh, we only have to find two monoliths, nice. Oh, I keep forgetting that I need to flask of regret our uh, hunter ability so I can get our hunter back. I do see gilded chest over there. I do like myself some gilded chest. Of course, we got the snow one though. So there's going to be annoying powdered snow everywhere. All right, let's get these gilded chests. Mystery box, let's go. Oh yeah, someone told me in the comments you can hold down Q now to get items out of chests. So let's try that. Hold down Q. Okay, that does help. It'll probably save me from getting some arthritis from spamming the Q button so much. Well, I'm going to run around and look for monoliths because if we can get all two of them, we will complete our quest and we can reap the benefits. Only issue is without the hunter ability, I can't tell if it's like above or below hidden somewhere. But I'm sure we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Hey, looks like we found an X marks room. I'm always down for these. Hopefully we get some good CWG luck here. Mobs, run! That's about what I figured. <laughs> Bye mobs. Oh, well, we found a crystal cave. Well, you know I can't turn down a crystal cave. They're too good. I can already see Xenium up there for some peg gems. Oh, baby. Oh, look at all those ores up there. Mmm, it's looking delicious. Ooh! All I gotta do is take out the horde of mobs, and we got crystals to mine. Look at all these ores! You'll love to see it. I need all the Laramar we can get. Give me the Laramar! Ow, that guy hits hard. Who would have thought? Mobs hurt. Yeet! Black Opal. Oh, look at that. Pizza Night right next to a Scallium. A match made in heaven. Ooh, we got some Xenium in here. I think Xenium is my favorite looking pag Or Also, we just triggered Copious on that Benny Boy. Let's go. Gorgonite, let's go. Ooh, another copiously. Beautiful. Another copiously, yes. We're getting quite lucky all of a sudden. Woo! Dang, this crystal cave is massive. There's been tons of ores. It's eaten up all our vault time, but I ain't complaining. I mean, look, there's another Xenium right there. And even more ores. Oh my goodness. This is insanity. Well, I can confirm that the black opal rates this version have been dropped. As they said, last version apparently there is more black opal than there should have been. Because I've only found one black opal so far. Oh, another copiously trigger. Let's go. So many Larabars. How many Larabars are we going to get from this room? This is, this is nuts. Oh, I see a black opal up there. They do exist. Give me that black opal. Delicious. Whoa. Ah, spider, how do you get up here? Spiders are ninjas, I'll tell you. They'll just sneak up on you. Well, you know we've officially looted the room when it looks like a freaking water park in here. <laughs> and oh my goodness, we only have six minutes left. There were so many ores in that room. It was insane. I mean, we probably won't be able to finish the monolith, sadly, but uh, it's definitely worth with the amount of ores we got. Oh, wait, there's a monolith right there. Maybe there's hope. This was just This would just be the best fault run ever if we can also manage to get the monoliths. Oh, if only. Oh my goodness, another crystal cave room. Listen, guys, I would love to, but we're running out of time here. Uh, if only I had all the time in the world, I would loot that room too. Oh, and it's a Mumpito Cactoni room now too. Super dangerous room. Let's just get out of there. All right, well, I made it back to the starter room. Maybe if I get lucky, I'll do a little bit of peeking around and maybe we can find a Model I, maybe. Welp, I wasn't able to find the last model I, but we still got a ton of ores, so let's run. 5,000 XP, not bad. We ended up getting 47 Laramar ore, let's go. Alright, first things first, I need a choice flask of regret for Hunter. I need my Hunter Observer ability back. Now the flask is a little bit expensive, it does require Dreamstone, Vault Diamond, but we have all the stuff, so let's make it. Eat it up. And let's go back to Observer. That th that could have saved us. 
Now we do have a couple skill points and I want to pick up a couple new abilities that seem pretty good. First of all, we're going to learn Nova, which deals a AoE damage around you, but we're going to specialize into Frost. Boing. This should allow us to freeze mobs within a three radius for three seconds, which can get you out of a lot of pickles. Also, I'm going to pick up the Ghost Walk ability. Ghost Walk is like a panic button. You hit the Ghost Walk button, you get four seconds of invulnerability to get somewhere safe. Now I'm actually going to set Ghost Walk to a key on my mouse. That way if I'm ever in a pickle, I just hit the button on my mouse. Ghost Walk, we got four seconds of invulnerability. Super cool. And it's over. Wow. Oh, you guys remember how I added white tulips to the botany farm? That way we could get white dye? Yeah, I can't be the only person who didn't know this, but apparently white tulips give you light gray dye, not white dye. Please let me know in the comments. I can't be the only person who didn't know that. And I've been playing Minecraft for how long? <laughs> well, luckily someone did leave a comment saying that we need to get the lily of the valley to get white dye. And you can only find the lily of the valley in a flower forest. So I ended up using my nature's compass and found one way out here. And now we're growing lilies of the valley. They actually look kind of cool. And these guys will actually get you white dye. Not the white tulips for some reason. Also, look at that. We're at 400 wither roses. We can use wither roses to get dye. So we don't even have to worry about squid ink anymore. That's amazing. You know what? We got two mystery boxes to open. Omega Pog. Laramar, I'll take it. All right, guys, let's fortune up all the Laramar that we got from that vault. And it's a it's a good amount. And what I'm going to do with all this Laramar is dump it back into mechanism. Why am I going to do that? Because I want to upgrade our battery. That was pretty satisfying. Look at that. Four stacks of Laramar. You'll love to see it. So the issue we're having right now with our mechanism stuff and things is every time we use our ore tripling, it just eats through the power in our battery. I just recently put in a stack of raw chromatic iron and you can see it ate two thirds of our battery. So we go and need a bigger battery. Now we could keep going down the power mod route in order to get bigger batteries, but they get really expensive really fast. Now, luckily, Mechanism has a battery multi-block that can hold giga FE, which is like billions. But we're going to need a lot of stuffs and things to do this. First of all, we need lithium, but lithium isn't too hard to get because you can get it by using the brine we're already making and running it through another thermal evaporator. So I got to make another one of these things. And here's the other issue. In order to get the lithium into lithium dust, we need a chemical crystallizer which this is gonna need more stuff like refined obsidian, which means we're gonna need another machine, the osmium compressor. And as you guys can guess, this is gonna cost a lot of Laramar. So I'm just gonna start building things and see how far we can get. I'm gonna start by building another one of these thermal evaporator guys right here to start making some lithium. And if you're wondering where all the Laramar's going, it's going into this machine right here. For all the alloys and stuffs and things we need, it will just eat through the Laramar. Look at it go, woo. Spicy. Oh, did I mention the steel casing recipe got changed? It used to be an osmium block and one steel block. Now it's even more Laramar and chromatic steel. You can keep trying to nerf me, Iskal. It won't work. I'm just crazy enough to spend all this Laramar. Bwahaha. <laughs> Status update we're making lithium. It's great. I just built another plant over here and it's making lithium. Wow. Next thing we need is this machine, but in order to get that machine, we need this machine. So I'm going to get to crafting the osmium compressor and we'll be right back. And there we go. We got ourselves an osmium compressor. Who's ready to compress some osmium? Next thing we need to do is enrich two obsidian, enrich one diamond, then combine them in the metallurgic infuser. Then you get refined obsidian dust, which you then put into the osmium compressor Put osmium in the bottom slot and it starts compressing it. Wow. And that, my friends, is how you get the refined obsidian ingot. All right, so we are very close to crafting the, the chemical crystallizer, but we're going to need ultimate control circuits, the highest tier of all the control circuits, which we've made elite before, but now we need atomic alloy, which means we use the reinforced, but we have to combine it with echo. And if you guys remember, the most efficient way to do it is by using the extraordinary because one gives you 75. Okay, that math is a bit hard to math. Just trust me, you get more out of it if you use the extraordinary. So you guessed it, we're going to have to spend 16 Echo Jebs just to be efficient. So that's pretty much all our Echo. 
being used in the mechanism. Well, it's time to do it. Our extraordinary echo gem, and we will use it to infuse our reinforced alloy. Wait, why isn't it going in? Huh? Oh, I may have to upgrade the infuser. It looks like it won't handle it. Interesting. So let's craft ourselves a basic tier installer. Upgrade our infusing dude to a factory. Now, can we put in our echo gem? Yep, there we go. Okay, we just had to upgrade it. I got scared for a second that there was like a bug and it wasn't working. Now, it looks like it doesn't actually use that much, I don't think. Because we have 1,875 and after these three finish... We have 1,800. Okay, so this Echo is going to last a long time, so that's good. I'm glad to see our Echo is well spent. I just do not hit the dump button on accident. That would be catastrophic. All right, so we should be ready to make our two ultimate control circuits and our chemical crystallizer. Nice, our first high tier machine. And we did it! We're pumping out the lithium into a rotary condensator, which uh, wasn't too expensive. You know, just needs all that Laramar and such. And it's turning the liquid lithium into lithium lithium, which is now being turned into that lithium dust we need for the induction matrix. Oh my goodness, is this a process. But hey, now that's set up, we don't have to touch this thing ever again. It's gonna be nice. Now, I wish we could make the induction matrix now, but we're kind of out of Laramar. We're only at 29 Laramar, and we only have two chromatic steel. So we're going to need some more resources before we can actually build the induction matrix. But I'm just happy we got this done. We got the lithium dust process all ready to go. All right, guys, it's world tour time, and I'm very excited for this because I want to know what the server's up to, you know? And maybe you'll see a creator on this server that you might like and want to check out. All right, so I took the time to waypoint each person's base. And I even made the color match their brand color. Except for you, Fuzzy, there's no uh, brown, sorry. So let's take a closer look at the map here and kind of see where the lore is happening. So I know that Flynn, Corey, Hell, and Chris are in the resistance. And they're trying to resist the leadership, such as us and Code, you know, the old champion. So I have some intel they may be working on some sort of underground network. We're gonna have to keep our eye on that. Now, as for me, Code, Fuzzy, Zinji, and Peeporp, we're kind of in the resisting the resistance. And then you got Evett and Sturcat who are like resisting the resistance to the resistance. And then you got people like Rob who are playing all sides. I'll put a lore Venn diagram up on the screen. So that way you can kind of see what's happening. I know, who would have thought the lore would be so complicated? So I say, let's start with Flynn's base and we'll work our way up through the strip of friendship, which I call this the strip of friendship because like all of our bases are kind of in this long strip, which I think is awesome. So Flynn's base is a 730 meter flight. I'll meet you guys over there. And here we go, we're at Flitty Boy's base. And yes, the tornado that we pranked him with a few episodes ago is still here. He told me that he's keeping it because he thinks it uh, matches the theme, which I agree. I think this looks cool. I think he built another windmill somewhere underground. In fact, let's see where this elevator goes. Oh, it just goes into his house. Oh, and it goes to a, a crushing wheel. What is it crushing? It's making gravel. And let's see what's underneath here. <gasps> oh my goodness. Guys, do not tell the resistance, but I think I found their railroad. Whoa, this is actually pretty sick. It like goes through the caves and through... There's diamond ore in the ceiling. All right, guys, don't tell the resistance, but I'm taking this diamond ore, yoink. All right, not gonna lie, this does look pretty sick. All right, before someone catches us down here, uh, let's go back up. I mean, I'm kind of jealous now. I, I want a railroad. Maybe create will be the next mod we go for. Let me know in the comments. So yeah, it looks like Flynn's been busy. He's got all his animal pens here. I'm not sure what else he has that's new, because his base is like full of mysteries. Like, what's in this barrel? Nothing. Wow. Do not fail me. I love this. Oh, Flinny boy, you're so funny. Oh, I, I found it. The, the, the underground windmill. Oh, yes, this must be the optimal place to put a windmill. <laughs> what kind of create spaghetti is going on up there? All right, let's not worry about it. Spinny parts go spin, spin. All right, I think it's time we check out our next opponent. Let's go to Fuzzy's base, and this is his brand new mega base. Editing CWG here. We're gonna have to cut out Fuzzy's part of the tour for spoiler reasons. If you guys want to see what his new mega base looks like, he's gonna upload a video on his channel in a few days. All right, so next up we got Code. I mean, we all know Code has made some big changes. 
He is working on his mega base as well. I mean, man, it's, it's only episode 28. Why is everyone building mega bases? Am I gonna have to build a mega base now? I'm just having fun building lots of random crap up on this mountain. This mountain is my mega base. I claim this entire mountain. It's mine. All right, but let's take a look inside. What does Code got going on? <gasps> it's an aquarium. Okay, that's pretty sick. He's using the uh, frameless glass. Nice. He's got the code logo in here, of course. Waystone in the center. And he accesses the storage through this. Oh, this looks sick. White mosaic glass. How do you craft that? Oh, you just dye the glass with dye again. Okay, that's cool. Let's see, what does code have the most of? Bamboo leaves. Understandable. Oh, he's got a basement. Oh, looks like code unlocked botany pots as well. You'll love to see it. He's using the glazed cyan one. Also, I found out. Let me help code out here. You can actually hoe the grass into farmland inside of these guys, and it will actually make the crops grow faster. Pretty fancy. But yeah, Code's place is looking pretty sick. I can't wait to see it when it's finished. I mean, this thing's already looking nuts. I just love the calcite block. It just looks so good. Oh wait, guys, I just realized Code just completely got rid of his starter base. It's like, it's gone. It's just a flat foundation. This is sad. Is his basement still here? Okay, he still has his old basement, but he just demolished his starter house. F's in the comments for Code's starter house. All right, next up we got Zinji, and Zinji is the newest player on the server, so I don't think he's got too much building stuff and things yet. But that's probably why he wanted to work together on making this an industrial zone, so he can start farming it up. Yeah, Zinji's online right now. He's level 9. So we'll definitely have to check up on Zinji and his lazy iron farm. Look at it. <laughs> Here, I'll help you out. Here's a nudge. Oh no! Alright, next we get to go across the Bridge of Friendship, which is still covered in wool. <laughs> it does have two sticks now, so the Bridge of Friendship is only getting more supported. Now, Peep Borp's Castle is absolutely incredible so far. I mean, just look at this thing. It looks like he's actually expanding it even further, like making walls and stuff. Oh man, this place looks awesome. Like the gradient and the detail, lots of attention to detail in this build. I don't know how Peep does it. I mean, just look at this room, like coins on the table, little little, little chairs you can sit in, hedges. Oh, it's the picture of the... This was a picture from the very first championship vault. You can see I'm not in there because I'm the guy who took the picture. Oh, memories. Also, by the way, these candle holders from the supplementaries mod, just add an iron to your candle and they look sick. And of course, Peep's got some uh, sus artwork. I think this one's my favorite. <laughs> What an awesome camp place. Man, this castle's so cool. Oh wait, there's a secret door here. I don't remember this last time. Okay, where does this go? He likes using the uh, terracotta as wallpaper. That's pretty neat. Oh, he's got some armor stands on display. Yeah, I do eventually want to make some sort of display room. I need to get to that. It's got a relic pedestal with no relic in it. Hmm. What's in here? Oh, ah, this is how you get to peep storage. Okay, pretty fancy. Oh, he has the easy villagers mod, huh? Unbreaking. Oh, the first crafted pog. Looks like Peep also hangs up their pog. Awesome. Well, that's enough Peep Orb for now. We're definitely gonna have to check on it. Remember, all these Peep's channels, there's links in the description. All right, next up in the strip of friendship is Evit. And it looks like she's at her base right now. Maybe we can like scare her or something. All right, here we are at Evit's tower. Oh, she has a mossy waystone. Okay, that's kind of cool. Ooh, I love this bridge. I know, right? I come to her base and I'm like, ooh, fancy bridge. I like it. All right, let's go inside and see what's happening. She also has some Shiba doggos. How cute. It looks like she's in her basement. Let's see if we can scare her. Oh, she has an echo ore? What? Oh, there she is. Let's uh, let's activate our Frost Nova and see if it scares her. <laughs> Did she hear that? All right, let's activate Ghost Walk. Does that make a noise? Oh, it does. It's kind of creepy, actually. Okay, apparently she didn't hear any of that. Let's try a heal. Did you hear that? All right, let's just scare her. Ah! <laughs> She's muted right now, but I can tell that she just got jump scared. <laughs> a little bit, hello. <laughs> hey, how's it going? I was just uh, doing a little bit of a world tour. What you got going on here? Um, I've got Laramar that I'm gonna be fortuning soon, that's for sure. Oh, it looks tasty. Just just give me a, a few of it. I'll just <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I got my little smelting area over here. I've got, you know, my coin piles, my bounty table sort of things. Got my elevator oh. going up. 
Where does that go? Oh, we're, in, we're back in the tower. <laughs> Up to here. <laughs> oh, I like that spice rack. That's cool. Yeah, and then I got top floor. Top floor? Where, Whoa. Uh, <laughs> cool. I have other stuffs and things. I keep my chalky milk. You keep the uh, chalky milk and you're safe. <laughs> Yeah, so it's safe and it's right by my bed, you know, in case I ever need it. In case you ever need the chalky milk. Oh, you got a yeah. nice globe collection. I like the got my, my hourglass over here. Oh, right here. Oh, you put blue <laughs> yeah. sand in there. Or cyan, of yeah. course. On yeah. brand. Very good. And this is where you jump out the window? Ah! <laughs> yeah, when I remember <laughs> my wings. Oh, your wings are so Oh, that's cool. I need oh, I need to make my wings like yellow or something. Well, thanks for showing me around. I got to continue the tour. Yeah, thanks for the visit. No prob. All right. Well, we'll have to keep our eye on what Evit's up to. It's looking pretty cool over there. She she definitely pays attention to detail. Next up, we got Stir Cat's house. I believe she's still in here. Oh my gosh, look at all the waypoints on the screen. Ah! It looks like all the new stuff she's been working on is in her basement. She's got some drawers over here, colossal chest. You love to see it. Oh, she made some living chests. That's cool. Looks like some backup armor. Ooh, Stir Cat also unlocked the botany pots. Nice. I'm telling you, the botany pots, they're really good. Oh, she has her own spirit extractor. That's hilarious. And a little bit of an ore cave. Ooh, give me that Laramar. And actually, since Stir Cat doesn't have a waystone, I made a warp plate. So if you stand on this right next to her colossal chest, it just goes straight to our base. Super convenient. And it goes both ways. Back we go. So yeah, Stir Cat's place is looking pretty cool. She's also a great builder, so we'll definitely have to check up on her. Just remember, Stir Cat is always watching. And you can see over there, that's Fuzzy's old starter base. Now we already toured that a long time ago. So I'm not going to go visit it again, although Fuzzy probably has built a bunch of new stuff there since I checked last. All right, well, that's everyone in the strip of friendship. Now we got to go to the naughty resistance people. Let's start with Chris. And let me know in the comments if you enjoy world tours or if I'm just being silly. Let me know. Oh, wow, we barely squeezed through those trees. Oh, of course, you know you're at Chris's base when you see the big CWG Cactoni Bambino masterpiece. Oh man, this thing's so huge. I love it. So it looks like Crystal has random farms out here. Let's see what he's got going on behind the scenes. Ah, I forgot. Chris gives me chest anxiety. Oh goodness. <laughs> Chris, you need to get simple storage ASAP, man. Resurrections one. <laughs> it's got a villager hall where it just looks like they're all staring at me, which is kind of creepy. Looks like he's doing something down here. That's a lot of scaffolding. And of course, the all famous Chris Mega Sheep. How many sheeps are in that? 1,966. Just a few sheep. Oh, I like how in the walls he has lava and then kelp. And then lava, kelp, lava, kelp. That That's actually pretty cool. I like that. Next up, we got our old friend Robbie Boy. Now, I know Rob's been pretty busy with IRL stuff recently, so I'm not sure how much more he's done. Oh! Apparently a lot. I have not seen this before. Oh, this room's sick. Dude, I love Rob's build style. He really likes the oranges and other colors you normally don't see people build with, but he makes it work. Dude, this place looks sick. A little bit of a cactus farm over there. Mm-hmm. I have more cactus with my botany pots. Whoa. He's got a little bit of a storage area over here. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to keep up with Rob. Rob's the one who's playing both the resistance, the resistance, resistance, and the resistance, resistance, resistance. So probably can't trust him that much, but I do like looking at his builds. All right, next up we got Hell's Hole. Now, I remember last time we went there, there was just a circle. So I wonder what Hell's been doing with his hole. All right, here we are. I know where the entrance is now. You have to look for the candy cane blocks. And I know he has like a secret dirt elevator. Yep, this piece of dirt right here. There we go. All right, well, it looks like Hell cleaned out the water from our prank a while ago. Oh, and he's doing create stuffs and things. <laughs> I love the rainbow windmill. That's hilarious. In brand, I love it. Oh, I bet you I know what this is. I bet you this is for uh, assembling those rail tracks. Hmm. I mean, is that what this is? What What's down here? What's hell got going on down here? This looks kind of sus. Hmm. All right, we'll just pretend like we didn't see anything. Shh. Don't tell hell we've been in his hole. But otherwise, I think this place has the potential to be pretty sick. It, it needs a lot of lighting, dude. Hell's going to be spending half the time just lighting this place up. But otherwise, I don't know. Looks pretty cool. Let's get poked. Will that thing poke us? 
And the hardest part about leaving this place is remembering which dirt block is the elevator. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Okay. And last but not least, we got our boy Cory, the donkey man. Cory's got a nice little cottage out here in the middle of the spruce forest. I mean, I don't know what to call this place. But that's where Cory is on the map. He's on the western side of spawn. But I really like the look of this place, and I love what he did with the sticks to give it like a kind of a terrace look. Let's take a look inside. Oh man, dude, it's really cool in here. I love it when people pay attention to their interior. Dude, these spice racks are sick. Oh, and it's, it's like a little uh, a ventilation thingy for the oven. That's sick. Edge top lights? Man. Corey's interior game is strong. Also, I like these uh, upgraded fences as kind of like a room wall divider. That's pretty cool. Can we turn off his light? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, things are looking pretty sick. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the world tour. We'll probably be doing these like once a month. So sometime in February, we'll do another and dude, the pe people have been just going crazy on the server. The amount of progress people have made. I mean, look, there's a new shop right there that sells mega torches. There's like every episode, I feel like so much has changed from the last time I logged in. Like seriously, that wasn't there when I was last online. That's just nuts. Oh, it looks like Zinji's starting to work on his section of the group build. Awesome. Don't want to give any spoilers. And now, it's meme of the daytime, and I've expanded the hallway of inspiration because we actually filled up all the sides now. So now we got a second layer that we can work with here. Today's meme comes from Buttery on the Discord. CWG. I get 15 knowledge stars to unlock Kajirium. I craft mystery hostile eggs to get a witch egg. I don't get a witch egg. I don't get a witch egg. <laughs> yeah, I was really hoping we would get a witch egg. So many useful drops from that, but I'm sure we'll get one eventually. And with that, make sure you're subscribed. Check down below. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. CWG, out.